when an idea floats into your brain and plants itself firmly. So firmly that you can't even remember a time without it. What does it take to give birth to it? Some would say grit. Because a lot of the roads that these ideas take us on are less traveled than most. The path isn't, the path quite, as isn't quite as clear. Not, Not quite as quite as smooth. smooth. As a young girl, I watched my father bake bread every Sunday, mixing together water, each ingredient, flour, sugar, with just the right amount of each. I watched him knead the bread to a perfect texture. I asked him, how do you know how much to put? How do you know when it's right? and ready. It's more of an art than a science, he would say. You have to feel it. You have to get your hands messy. You have to try. I can't quite tell you, he would say, but I can show you. Watch, watch. You see the, the, what the thumb, eh? See what the thumb doing? Pushing, pushing, pushing. So what is grit? I would say it's a mixture of things. Ingredients, if you will. Coming together in such a unique way that when it's placed in the heat, it creates something beautiful. So what are the ingredients for grit, you ask? I can't quite tell you, but I can show you. <laughs>